Okay, uh, update on my Harley Davidson uh, love hate saga relationship here. Uh, so Harley Davidson just <laughs> just uh, released some news that they're spinning off um, the live wire electric motorcycles. They're going to hold, uh, I think, a seventy four percent stake in the uh, the company. So it's being so live wire is being spun off from Harley Davidson. Uh, and the, the Harley Davidson live wire motorcycle or electric bike motorcycle, whatever you want to call them. Uh, when they were released uh, two years ago, I think, uh, into the market, they were really expensive, like $30,000 bikes, which is way too much. But I think they just wanted to get the bike built and get it out there, seeing that we have to, they were the, we're the, you know, one of the first big manufacturers to get to market here. Uh, but now they've, they're spinning it off. So they're, you know, so they're taking, I have to hand it to Harley Davidson again, number two. Um, because it, it is a great little uh, great little bike. If I had the money, I would buy a, a Harley Davidson electric bike. So um, I'll hand it to him there again. And I know with Harley Davidson when they announced this that they were spinning off uh, the live wire, their stock price went up. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much, but like it was 10% in one day or something. It was probably just a bump. Uh, full full disclosure, I am a Harley Davidson uh, stock owner. There's my uh, share certificate. Um, I actually, when I bought the shares, I actually got the certificate you know mailed to me it's kind of like a it's a nice thing to hang on your wall you know these things aren't going to be around too much longer the actual physical certificate so um so the live wire is a yeah so it's going it's going to be a public company um, i forget who the, the other investors are um this will be i think this if live wire goes public like the company goes public it'll be the first electric motorcycle company listed on exchange, like in, in on Wall Street. So that's a big thing too. So Harley's making some firsts here. They're making some firsts, finally. Uh, one thing you gotta remember is Harley Davidson also bought Buell motorcycles. And that didn't end well for Buell motorcycles. So I hope Harley Davidson follows through with what they're doing here with the electric bike, because like it or not, electric vehicles are the future. Um, the other company in Canada is uh, Damon Motorcycles from British Columbia. Uh, they just they're building a big facility out there, so they can sell in West Coast. They're all into the new stuff out there. Uh, so there's Damon Motorcycles. I think there's in the states. Another the other big competitor down there is Zero Motorcycles. They build some cool stuff too. But Harley Davidson got handed to them. They're the first out of the gate, I think. And and just I hope they do it right. Because this is the future. Liquid cooled, it's the future now. But gas power bikes aren't going to be around forever. Uh, so anyway, again, Harley Davidson, another thumbs up from uh, from old Raj Dog here about uh, my love hate relationship. And like I said, if I could uh, afford one, I would have. Uh, I like to buy a, a live wire. I think it's a it's a cool looking bike. And here's my prediction for Harley Davidson too with their logo, because if you look at the logos that are on their bikes now, like it's the the, the bar and shield. But it's empty like there's no it doesn't say harley davidson motorcycles anymore or it does, still does but the live wire has that bar and shield on there but with nothing written in there so i think they're that's my prediction i think they're getting away from uh the big uh the bikers with the big torque bikes for uh carrying around carrying around the big hairy bikers uh so yeah anyway good job harley davidson and uh i again my love hate relationship i do wish you the best and I hope this works because, again, more competition, the more bikes, the more manufacturers, the better it is for everybody. Okay, thanks.